Hello I'm Karen and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to make these really really small so tiny little booties. Okay these are actually two inches across the sole and I'm using um, a double knit yarn. I'm going to use I'm going to do the sparkly blue. I'm using a double knit yarn which does say on it to use a four millimeter crochet hook but I'm actually using a three millimeter crochet hook today okay um it's not something that i normally do on a video because it's so tiny i'm not sure whether you can see very well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this video and if it doesn't work out properly then i shall do it again in a four millimeter hook um so i'm going to begin i'm beginning with my twist to start off with but you can begin with a slip knot if you prefer so we need to do Begin with a chain of six. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. Into the third chain from the hook, so that's one, two, three, we need to work three half double crochet. I'm going underneath one strand, that's one. two and three half double crochet in the next two chains one two I'm just going to pull out some more yarn oops well where am I? I've got myself tangled up already what am I like um, into the very last chain we need to work six half double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five and six. I'm just moving the tail end out of the way. You can work yours in if you want to, but I prefer to do mine at the end so I can pull everything tight. I'm going to half double crochet in the next two chains and I'm going, going to um, come in underneath two strands this time. So that's one, two. And then we need to work two more half double crochet. You can work into this centre loop if you want to, <clears throat> but I prefer to work in, it's, I call it a hidden loop because it's actually part of the beginning chain. It's just underneath there. And I'm going to work two half double crochet. That's one and two. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet. I'm very sorry, I forgot to say, if you're in the UK, it's a half treble crochet. Um, but I'm sure you've realised from actually seeing what you can see. <laughs> okay, so we've got this little tiny thing now. Now you need to chain one. We're going to half double crochet in the same space as the slip stitch. Oh, we've got a squeak going off there. And then we're going to work two half double crochet in the next two stitches. That's one. And two. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, two half double crochet in the next seven stitches. Now that's one half double, two. see I've got a hair I'm sorry 
This one's number three. This is number four. Five. <clears throat> Six and seven. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. That's one and two. And then work two half double crochet in the next two stitches. And yes, on this round, we use the slip stitch as a stitch to work into because a lot of the time we won't one two into there and two into the oops a daisy oh dear try that one again <clears throat> and the two into the slip stitch stitch one two and now we need to slip stitch to the first half double crochet and this is the first half double crochet here and it's the two loops to the right hand side which is the stitches you need to be slip stitching into okay so it'll look like this and at this point here so I'll get my tape measure out and measure and I'll show you that that is two inches in size <clears throat> round three chain one single crochet all the way around and if we've done everything correctly should have 26 stitches okay so one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <clears throat> sorry, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, oops, I'm still on camera, sorry, <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, <clears throat> 24, 25, and 26. The last stitch there is actually a slip stitch stitch. This bit here is a slip stitch from the previous round and this one here, so it's actually three loops, three little V's away, so that's one, two, three. This one is your first single crochet and you want to slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. And this will actually give your um, piece of work a little curve now because you've gone all the way around like that. I'm just going to pull out some more yarn. <coughs> round four. chain one half double crochet in the next seven I'm just checking I'm just checking my pattern just want to make sure I'm right 
So we don't work into the same split, same space as that we've already done. So we're working into the next stitch along. Okay, so you can see that's your, if we just come out there, that's where we slip stitched and we're going to work into this one. One. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This next part, <clears throat> I'm not sure whether you'll have done this stitch before or not, but if not, then you're going to learn a new stitch. I'm going to double crochet cluster two together six times. So to do a double crochet cluster, I'm just, because I'm just doing it in, um, two together, so I'm going to yarn over, go into my work, yarn over and pull through, yarn over like I would do with a normal double crochet, but then I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to yarn over into the next stitch underneath the two strands, yarn over, pull through. So I've got four strands on my hook. Yarn over like I'm going to do part of the double crochet. And now we're going to finish it all off by yarning over and pulling all through three loops. Okay, so that's one. <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry, I've got really squeaky yarn now. <laughs> Two. Three. Oops. Three. <clears throat> Oh, I hate it when it's squeaking. <laughs> it goes through me. Was that four? One, two, three, four. Yes, that's four. Five. <laughs> if you're like me, you're all cringing. <laughs> six and then half double crochet in the next seven one two three four five, six, and seven. And yes, on this round we do use the slip stitch as a stitch. And then we need to slip stitch into the first half double crochet, which is this one here, underneath these two loops to join. Oh, I've gone into this space and not into the stitches, hang on. Try that one again. There we go. <clears throat> and at this stage, it'll look like that. You'd have got your little curve that's going off there. And this is um, this is the last round now of just to be able to make it into a little slipper. So chain one, single crochet in the next six stitches. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Now we need to skip one half double crochet in the next three times. So yarn over, keep your tension. Skip one, and we're working into this one. Ooh. 
<laughs> honestly um yarn over again keep the tension skip one and now this we're going to work into this stitch here so you need to screw up your little slipper to keep your stitch nice and tight yarn over we're skipping one we're moving into this stitch here coming underneath the two strands like that then we're going to skip one and single crochet oh this is sounding awful one i'm um, assuming so we need to skip one and single crochet in the last six so that was one two three And then we need to slip stitch into the first single crochet which is right over here um, <clears throat> to be able to join okay I'm just going to pull that up there a minute and then we've got our little tiny a little tiny I'm using lots of small words there aren't I but we've got our um, our two inch little slipper and there we go okay now if you want to carry on like I've done with these ones, I'm sorry, I'm just going to try and um, dry my hands a bit to hope, hope that it's going to stop me from squeaking. Um, I didn't anticipate the squeaking of the yarn today. But just to come up to be able to do this top little collar or cuff, I'm not quite sure what you want to call it. We need to chain two, that's one, two, and then we're going to double crochet all the way around that's one <clears throat> I'm sorry you should have I think it's 14 or 15 stitches I can't remember two ooh, three four five when we're coming around to work into this front bit here, you can go all the way over the actual stitch or you can go underneath the top two loops like I'm going to. Was that stitch number five or six? I can't remember. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I know you should be, your work looks all screwed up when you do this, but it's okay. You can sit and tidy it all up afterwards. I think that's eight. <laughs> I've lost count again. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, <clears throat> yeah it's 14 if we go to there but if we want to increase the width a little bit you can actually have worked into that stitch there and to work into this one but I'm going to keep it nice and tiny so I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet to join so at this point it will look, if you straighten it all out, it'll look like that. If you can see that very well. Obviously, if you're doing your own, then um, you'll see. And so to do another round, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two again. Two. I'm actually going to work into the same stitch here to help stop my, um, my seam from wandering off around the side. Oops, that's one, two, three, oh, three, four.
five. Six. Ooh, seven. Eight. Oh, sorry, I'm wandering off again. It's I'm trying to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Nine. <clears throat> my camera's actually in my way. 10, 11, 12, I'm trying not to get my two ten tail ends tangled up, 12, 13, and then the 14th stitch I'm going to do into there, just so that I've still got the 14 stitches and a chain two, which really makes me look like I've got 15. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the first half double crochet to join. And I'm just going to cut off my yarn. I'm just going to tie a knot in the end there. And then I'll tuck this tail end inside the little booty out of the way so I can try and show you the how it you shape it um, they are really really small so they are quite awkward to sit because you've got to remember that this this line all the way around is the actual edge of the sole of your work so if you sit and tweak all of your work so then it'll look like this just so tiny look and then you can fold over this this double edge the double crochet sorry <clears throat> which is actually a treble crochet if in uk you're really sorry about that i'm not doing an organized properly video today there we go and so now we've got a little teeny tiny one look at that little teeny tiny that's like three small descriptive words just for one booty so there we go and there you have a two inch little booty okay so thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing thank you for all your lovely comments i really appreciate you all okay bye for now